Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 26.1 beta 4 is over here and it brings significant changes. Now let's talk about everything what is new in this video. Starting with the first thing is definitely the build number. Get into settings about section and here is the build number. It is 23B5073A. Now there is A at the end of the build number which means we are expecting maybe RC next week. Let's see, definitely I will be making a video about that. But we can expect an RC update next week. Also, there are a few things that I want to talk about in this video. So let's start with what is new. And finally, 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 people wanted this for a very long time. And finally, it is over here when you get into the display brightness. Now there is a new section of liquid glass, which means now you can control your liquid glass now there are two different options available the first one is the clear one and it also gives you a preview how it looks like the next one is the tinted one you can choose the tinted one or you can choose the preview one now which says choose your preferred look for the liquid glass clear is more transparent as you can see um revealing to the context beneath tinted one increases the um, opacity and adds more contrast now it is your choice you want the tinted one or you want the clear one now just for example this is how the notifications look like with the uh, clear option selected as you can see and if i go and choose the um, tinted one this is how the notifications look like also screen is not dimming anymore so i honestly have mixed feeling about this i'm not sure um, I'm going to choose the clear one or a, you know, tinted one. But for now, I will be preferring the clear one. Even if I go to the Apple podcast to show you more, let's say I will go into the Apple podcast. Let's get over here and let's see how this is looking like. So now, as you can see this over here, how it is looking like I'm full. It is clear to you. Okay, now it is more clear to you as you can see. And if I choose the tinted option, um, this is how it is going to look like you can see a clear clear difference so yeah there's a big difference it is again your choice what i will like apple should add a slider to control the liquid glass that would be great to see if that is coming anytime soon also there is if you go into the app store there is a new glow on this tab bar when you tap and hold something like this it glows up as you can see it is glowing up if i show you the previous one let me get to my older device and let me you know unlock the device and turn down the brightness it was not glowing up as you can see it is actually glowing up i don't know it is also glowing up honestly guys this is also glowing up i don't know um this is running 26.0.1 and it is actually glowing up as you can see it is glowing up so that's a mixed thing i think I, people maybe it was out before and many people missed that out but this is something i'm trying to be you know transparent with you guys so this is something over here also when you are in your settings and you get into the again display button go all the way down to the display zoom now there is a new wallpaper showing up but the old iMessage app i know they are trying to fix these things one by one and maybe with the next update we will see everything updated over here too now a much weighted a much weighted feature is over here you know over the years we have you know did this mistake like uh, mistakenly we swipe and it opens the camera but now you can also control this but what you need to do is simply get into the camera go all the way down you will see this new option lock screen swipe to open camera you can turn it off and when you do this no camera at all as you can see so this is a big thing and it is out let me know if you're going to use this one or not also when you are into the apple intelligence section now there was used to be a beta but now that is removed also it was center aligned in the previous beta now it is left aligned as you can see also a small thing but a very useful thing when you are in your phone app um you will see the new option over here that is haptic basically when you are calling someone and the other person attends the call, it gives you a haptic that the call is on. It is a small thing, but believe me, it is a really, really useful thing. 
like when I'm calling someone using my iPhone 10s that is running iOS 18, I, you know, I have to watch my display that if they have, you know, attended the call or not. But when I'm using this device, I, um, you know, my iPhone 11 running iOS 26 and it vibrates. It gives a haptics when someone attends the call and I know that someone attended the call. So it's quite very, very useful. Also, one thing I missed in my beta 3 video test was, you know, we got the swipe to turn off the um, alarm for the clock app. Well, you can also disable that. You get into the accessibility, you go into the touch and go all the way down. You will see the option prefer single touch extra. So if you prefer the uh, alarm to have a stop button, you can turn this on. If you like the swipe thing, you can turn this off. So this is also over here. This was out like in the previous beta, beta 3, I missed that. So these are some of the new features that are available with the iOS 26.1 beta 4. Now I am seeing comments on my YouTube channel, people asking me how is the battery life. Definitely I will be testing out the battery life and I will be sharing the experience with you guys in you know 24 hour battery test video. So just wait for that video. This is too early to say anything about the battery life because I haven't used my device much. So just wait for that. I also ran the first impression of the Geekman score. I got 27789 metal score, which is higher than the average one, a decent score. And I also ran the CPU benchmark, the first impression CPU benchmark, 343 tono single core and um, 8490 multi core. Both scores are higher than the average one, as you can see. In fact, um, these are the decent score, but not the best one. Like beta 3 was, beta 3 giving me much better scores. But still, it's too early to say. Definitely, I will be testing out this device for more and see um, in upcoming videos. I'm going to talk a lot about this. Um, so far, things are decent. Things are working nice. Apple is also trying to fix stuff in the background. If you want to know what is fixed, you can get to see. You can go and check out the release note. Now, what is next? I am expecting RC. Being very honest, I think Apple might be releasing RC on 27th of October and 3rd November, um, we can expect the um, iOS 26.1 actual release for the public. This is what I am expecting. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, this is all. This is all. This is everything I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do share this video. Like this video. If you are new over here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'm always over here trying to bring latest videos for you guys. So yeah, that's all from this video. Let me know if you are updating to the iOS 26.1 beta 4 or not. I am already on it. See you in this one. Peace out.